this is Timothy153 here, and I am going to be doing a build project with my Axial Wraith. Um, that is the hood. Uh, it's not painted yet. I put a decal on it just to make it look good. And here's my race. And if you're wondering what that blue thing under it is, I might take that out just to show you. This is a jack that I custom built. It's just a bolt into a plastic Tupperware. And the reason my race is sitting like that is this beast right here is not in it. I've stripped out the gear. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's all right up here and stuff. It's like stripped on the corner. And I believe there's a big chunk of it that's stripped out. You find it. Right there. Okay, this is my first video and I'm using a computer. So if you don't see something, leave it in the comments and I'll do a video specifically on that. Okay, so first of all, stock Axial Race Ripsaw tires, hated them. They had good grip and stuff, but they're so tall, and they weren't very soft. Okay, I have some, I threw some lime green beadlocks on here. These are eight hole black, I believe. Yep, eight holes black with green beadlock rings. And it's stock everything else, and I'm running a 2S light bill. And I'm trying to get this battery out real quick. There we go. It is a Venom 7.4 volt. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's a lot of light there. It's a 7.4 volt, 500 milliamp, 25C that I run it, and it's had a lot of beatings on it. See the stickers broken off a lot on it. Okay, so that was basically what what I did with the truck already, and I'm gonna lower the jack just a little bit. So it doesn't raise the truck off the ground. And right there is good. Makes the truck sit even with the laptop. And, okay. I have some tiny little tires here that I was going to throw on there. Um, but these rims are shot on it. So, I believe these are... These are 2.2s. They're Mickey Thompson's. I don't know what tread exactly, but they're Mickey Thompson. And they were on a crawler I had before. And I stripped the hex out on it, and I carved it in more. And then it stripped out straight through it. Okay. Um. So I think these tires are mudslingers. I can. I don't really know. I think they're mudslingers, but stock everything on it. And it has the stock night vision system, stock motor, stock everything. And I put this in here. Let me pull it up. This is a, sw a switch for it. And it turns the lights on and off. And I will show you that right now. Okay, so it's on, and then lights, and the tail lights are still wired in. Why you didn't hear the chime though is because the motor is way over here, right there. So I'm waiting for the part to come. 
I ordered it from Amazon for like 20 bucks um, aluminum in the color of chrome and this is starting to become a build that I've been waiting to do since when I got this truck for Christmas I'm gonna custom paint it over and call it Project Rock Copper and that hitch is coming off of it that's just there for now because I don't have an SCX10 or anything like that the only other trucks I have is a Mad Beast, a Max Stone 10 and an Erivo and none of them are working right now in fact I believe I have an axle from the Max Stone somewhere around here one second. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I'm going to cut that out. And this is the Max Stone axle. Um, probably can't see color with my light I have so much light in here yeah it's lime green servo mount and steering linkages and if you're wondering why the drive shaft is hanging like that it's transmission it's very annoying okay and just look at the width comparison this axle fits inside the wheels and these are the most offset wheels I own I have ripped either stock rip saws and I have some, I have no idea what they're called, so we'll just call them that. They're crazy. They're on my Revo right now. And the Mad Beast has Duratrox Evader DT Nitro tires on it. So I'm just basically doing this video to tell you what's going on and you will see new videos of this soon. I am doing a video on putting the pin, the not pinion, the spur gear on the transmission here. It, you might not be able to hear that grinding, but it's grinding in there. That's from the gear. Yeah, that's the video. Oh, and um, if you people want to know how to build a hitch, take any servo mount plate or ESC mount plate for the race, the flat one and this only works on the race that I know of right now and then take any actual servo mount thing that the screw that the servo screws onto and connect it like that and then s drill holes in the mount plate for the ESC and screw it right down into the axle it won't affect anything still have good roll and of course it fell off the I'm trying to get this thing to be a two motor. I have a mounting plate here that I am going to mount the motor on the two mounting plates like this and then I will like adjust it and stuff to where I can mount one motor in that hole because I have a motor that would fit in that and another thing I could do is I could take this plate and just put it right up here and mesh it on there how it goes for that motor and have it go like that if you have a bad view put it in the comments and I'll hold everything on better and stuff and I'll put it together and show you but right now that's not going to be a two motor that's one thing that's on the waiting list and let me see what else I have here that is pretty much it and oh here it is See this diff? That diff? All inside? 
is a racing div, and this might be going to my Revo. I haven't done a video on the Revo, but I have on the Mad Beast. So, go to my channel and select, find uh, some RC Thunderbird or something like that. And it's a Mad Beast with a Thunderbird or Firebird body on it. And it just drives around my front yard. I break it a couple times in that video. And let me just check, see if I have anything else to show. Oh, here's one thing that I found interesting. The world's smallest RC transmission in the world. Look at that. I am 11 years old. And that motor is way smaller than my pinky finger. Look at that. So that's pretty much it for this video. And if you want me to keep filming, comment, subscribe, and like the video. And don't just like it because I tell you to. Be honest. If you like this series, like it. If you don't, don't like it. Okay, everybody. Bye.